All right, um, so this is a Samsung, I don't even know what size it is, 40 inch, 42 inch, something like that. Um, a buddy gave this to me. Uh, it still kind of works, but he said when you turned it on, he could go like make a sandwich and come back and it might be on. Sometimes he had to wait a little longer. So um, I'm just gonna show you what it does. Yeah. Plug it in. And if you watch the standby light here, I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, um, but it flashes five times and then you can hear it click and it'll power out there. It just clicked again, trying it again. And so earlier when I tried this, it did the whole click cycle probably three or four times before it powered up. Okay, so I'm tired of waiting for it. Um, I have seen it power on. I know it's not a backlight issue. I'm pretty sure it's probably a capacitor issue on the power supply board. So I'm gonna get it flipped over, get the back off of it and see what's up. Haha, it came on. I don't have any inputs to it, but it's on. So you saw that took right about three minutes. So it's laid down, get it unplugged, get the back off. All right, so let's take a look here. So this is a power supply board. Ready at first glance, I can see one, two, three, four, five capacitors at least that are bulged. So see how the tops of them are bulged up? So these are 25 volt, 1000 microfarad, 10 volt, 1000 microfarad, 10 volt, 2200 microfarad. And looking at the rest of the capacitors on the board, That one looks okay, that one looks okay, that one's okay. Well, they look okay anyway. Um, I don't have an ESR meter, but I know these five here are definitely bad. All right guys, so I've got the board out. Um, I did get a capacitor kit. This is just a generic universal capacitor kit that I found on Amazon. I will post it a link down in the description. Um, but this comes from this company, Witronics, and I've, or Witonics. Um, I have ordered some other stuff from them in the past, uh, but it's been from eBay. Uh, their links, or their uh, listings they have on eBay are typically for a specific uh, make and model of TV. And so it'll come with the specific capacitors you need for that particular power supply board. Um, but they're, they're really good to work with. Um, they even say on here, if there's any problem with your order, contact them. Um, and the kit that I ordered for a specific model, I think it was an LG TV, uh, came with a couple of the capacitors I needed, but I guess there was a revision on the power supply board that I had. And they sent me the extra capacitors that I needed free of charge. So a uh, real good company to work with. Um, check them out. I'll put a link down in the description, but you can also find them on eBay. So uh, this kit, you can see it comes with a um, pretty good selection of capacitors. Uh, it comes with a little bit of solder and some solder wick, uh, just to remove any of the old solder that is on there. Um, you can see it does have a listing of the sizes it comes with. And I think I'm gonna use two of these 2200 microfarad, two of the 1000 microfarad, 25 volt, and one of these 1000. So um, I've got these five capacitors here that I'm gonna replace. Um, on the bottom of the board, I have circled the ones that I need to replace. Just because there's so many uh, little solder pads under here, it's, I don't wanna unsolder the wrong one. Um, let me see if I can get in here. You can see 
on this particular board, you, they actually mark which side is positive and which side, well, the other side is negative. So that helps to keep track too. If your board doesn't have markings, make sure you mark it so you know, or remember, take pictures, whatever you need to do to remember which side is positive and which side is negative. So um, if you're to this point and you're not sure how to solder, this isn't really the, the video to teach you how to solder. Um, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse for this and get back with you. All right, so here's the five old capacitors. I uh, got five new capacitors in there. So no more bulging tops. And now I'm gonna get this thing stood back up and we'll power it on. All right, so one other thing. Before we put the back on and put the stand on, you always wanna test it before you button everything back up, just in case you forgot to hook up a connector or you got a faulty capacitor or something along those lines. So I'm just gonna stand it up here. Um, I've got my power cord plugged into a power strip there. I've got the other end that plug, plugs into the back. Just gonna stand this up. Plug that in. And yeah, you can see it powered right on, no issues. So that was it. Um, just bad capacitors and it couldn't get the power it needed. Um, those capacitors had leaked down enough and the capacitance that they had, the, the amount of charge that they could store um, just diminishes as they age and as they, especially once they spill out, start leaking. Um, so it just took a lot of power cycles to get enough capacitance so this thing could fire up. So they would have eventually failed altogether and it would have never powered on. Um, but for this particular TV, it did finally build enough charge in, in one or all of those capacitors that it would power on. So quick, easy, cheap fix. Um, I'll get this thing buttoned back up and probably put it up for sale. Um, just, it's still a good TV, just needed a new lease on life. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, be sure to leave them down below. Uh, I really enjoy doing videos like this. I enjoy saving this stuff from going in the garbage because a lot of people would just pitch it and be done with it. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff that we can save, uh, get a few more years of use out of, and, you know, help save our planet a little bit. So thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up. Um, Questions, comments down below, and until next time, see y'all later.